Every time, after every game against the Brown, Marcus Peters would go off. Like, he had me looking back at the game sometimes like, yo, did I miss something? Like, what happened? Like, no. It was just that talk, the, the back and forth. What is going on Ravens Flock? My name is Drastic and I want to welcome you guys back to another video on my YouTube channel Flock and Ravens and on today's video we're going to be talking about a random topic that I thought of today driving back home from work. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I promise you guys I don't drive that way. I mean I drive with style but I don't do this. Anyways, anyways, I thought of this topic today, driving home from work. Um, there's no reports about what I'm about to tell you guys, all right? So don't get in the comments talking about, yo, who's your source? Where are you getting your information from? Bro, I get my information from me. I'm my source, all right? It's all here. It's all here. <laughs> yo, listen, I love a good laugh, all right? I love a good laugh. Y'all cannot make fun of me. I will beat you to it because I love laughing. Growing up, my thing was WWE and stand-up comedy. That was my whole thing. My whole childhood, it was those two things. And that's why you're going to find me putting a bunch of memes in my video or me cracking jokes at the most random parts of the video because I love a good laugh. I love it. I live for that. And that's also another reason why I decided to make this channel because I follow a lot of YouTubers that, um, content creators that, um, make Ravens content, right? Um, but I feel like they're way too serious. I don't know if you guys agree with me, but I feel like a lot of them are way too serious. Like when you look at them sometimes, it almost seems like they're auditioning for like, a ESPN job or Fox Sports job, you know, one of those analyst jobs, that's what it looks like. And not to not to throw shades at not to throw shade at them, but at times it almost feels like it's kind of boring, right? And I feel that I can give you guys my point of view, maybe even a different point of view from all of these YouTubers, but at the same time entertain you guys, right? But anyways, back to what I was telling you guys earlier, right? So I'm driving back home. Um, I'm having a great day. I had some issues earlier on in the day, but I'm not letting that get to me. I'm not letting that ruin my day. I'm having a great day. I'm enjoying my day. I'm enjoying the weather. I'm enjoying the ride, as you guys can see. Yeah. Like I told you, my childhood was um, WWE, comedy, and music. I love music. Like just about any type of music. I love it. On my drive back home, I stop for some gas. And while I'm pumping gas, I'm looking through Twitter. And I find a list of all our wide receivers. And I'm hyped. I am so hyped. But then I start to thinking, I'm like, what if we were able to get a DeAndre Hopkins on top of everything that we already have? Like, we would just be that much more unstoppable, right? And the more you think about it, you start to think, all right, maybe DeAndre Hopkins is not in the cards for us, at least not this year, right? And I still feel that the Ravens need to add more receivers. Not because the receivers that we have are not good, but because, like I told you guys in the other videos, injury is a real thing. It could happen to any player on any team at any moment. I truly hope that I'm wrong because I wouldn't want none of our players to get injured, but it's a fair concern to have. I was one of those fans that did not understand why the Ravens would sign a Demarcus Robinson, but it wasn't until the season started that you start to see, oh, that's why they signed him. Like this guy still has a lot of big plays in him. This whole off season, I was campaigning for the Ravens to bring back Demarcus Robinson. Could you guys imagine Demarcus Robinson under Todd Munkin's system? I mean, you guys saw what he was able to do under Greg Roman. Could you guys imagine under Todd Munkins? But obviously that didn't work out for the Ravens. He ended up going with the LA Rams. But then I started thinking, who else could we bring in to this new system in case one of our players goes down, could easily come in, fill in those shoes, could pick up exactly where that other player left off. The first player that came to mind for whatever reason when I asked myself that question was Jarvis Landry. 
I don't know why he was the first player to come to mind because at that moment, I didn't even know if he was available. For all I knew, he was still signed with the Browns or he was already picked up by another team. I had no idea. So I went on Google and I come to find out that Jarvis Landry is still available. He's a free agent right now. I'm surprised no one has picked him up yet. And I'm not saying that because I'm trying to convince you guys that, oh, Jarvis Landry is a top three wide receiver in the league. And the moment he's available, that same day or the next day, a team has to pick him up. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying he's a top three wide receiver. I'm not saying he's a top five. I'm not saying he's a top 10. All I'm saying is he's a 30-year-old wide receiver that could still give you production. And because he's 30 years old, I just don't see a scenario where he's demanding a crazy amount of money. I think he's a great player that a lot of teams, including the Ravens, should consider bringing in because you could put him in rotation with like your wide receiver four, five or whatever, and just keep that going, right? And have him there in case one of your players goes down. Now, I am well aware of all his injuries, all right? And that's another reason why I don't think he's demanding a big payday. So because of his age and injury history, I could see the Ravens bringing him in, working something out at a low cost, unless you guys know something that I don't know, because I haven't seen any reports of um, Landry demanding crazy amount of money. I haven't seen none of that. So if you guys know something, let me know. If the Ravens work something out with Landry, that would mean that the Ravens have successfully reunited Todd Munkin with his favorite two weapons during his time with the Browns. Would you guys believe that Jarvis Landry and OBJ under Todd Munkin both managed to get a 1,000 plus yard season? But wait, there is more. OBJ and Jarvis Landry both managed to subscribe to the Flocking Ravens YouTube channel. Yes, and you guys should too, all right? If you haven't subscribed to the channel, you guys should subscribe to the channel right now. Anyways, back to the video. Do you guys remember when we used to say, it's not fair that Baker Mayfield has all these weapons and Lamar Jackson gets the NFL's leftovers? I used to be one of those fans. I would be like, yo, how does Mr. Number One overall pick have all these weapons but can't take his team to the Super Bowl? Yo, if Lamar had the same weapons Mr. Progressive had, we would have been to the Super Bowl year after year after year. I mean, he had a top three line in the NFL. He had one of the best line protecting him. This man had time for days in the pocket. And then he had all these great receivers to throw the ball to, plus a great tight end. I mean, he's not no Mark Andrews, but this guy was solid. And then the icing on the cake, he had not one, but two great running backs that would demand the respect of each and every defender that would come face to face to them. So I just looked up Kareem Hunt and turns out Kareem Hunt is still a free agent. I'm not saying we need to go after him. I'm just letting you guys know he's available just in case. But anyways, could you guys imagine us having Rashad Bateman, OBJ, Zay Flowers, Nelson Aguilar, Jarvis Landry, Devin Duvernay, Mark Andrews, Gus Edwards, J.K. Dobbins, and Lamar Jackson? It's an MVP season all over again. So now let me give you guys my final reason why I think the Ravens should add a Jarvis Landry to the team. Now, as many of you guys know, in the NFL, there aren't many players that will talk their talk who will step up to a Marcus Peters. But there is one player who has been shown that each and every time he comes face to face with Marcus Peters, he stands his ground, talks his talk to a Marcus Peters. Now, let me tell you guys why that's important. Because if he has the courage to do that to a Marcus Peters, then what do you think he's going to do with other players, with other teams? And that's the type of attitude that I've been telling you guys that we need. Now, with that being said, I'm not saying that Jarvis Landry is at the level of Marcus Peters when it comes to talking your talk, but Jarvis Landry has his own lane. And I think it's good enough because that's something that the Ravens are missing because I feel that the Ravens at times are way too friendly. Like we're way too nice. Like some of our players are, will be like, good play, great catch, you know, good tackle, how are your kids? Everything good with your wife? Like, enough of that. Every now and then, we need some aggressive players. Yes or no? OBJ and Jarvis Landry have a good balance in that because they could give you that friendly vibe when needed, but when it's time to put on your game face, like talk your talk, 
they could definitely get the job done. I mean, if you're able to get Marcus Peters worked up on the plane after the game against the Browns, you could get the job done. You're doing something right. <laughs> I mean, do you guys remember every time after every game against the Brown, Marcus Peters would go off. Like he had me looking back at the game sometimes like, yo, did I miss something? Like what happened? Like, no, it was just that talk, the, the back and forth that would set him off. Anyways, guys, that's it for me. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. And also leave your comment down below to let us know what you guys think about the Ravens adding a Jarvis Landry to the team. Do you guys think it could benefit us to have a player like that for insurance purposes? Or do you guys think it's a waste of time? We shouldn't even entertain it because for whatever reason you guys may have, let us know down below. Also, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel like I told you guys and share the channel with your friends, family, or just anyone that you may know that's a Ravens fan that wants to get connected with the flock, send them our way. And I'm going to see you on the next one.